So hi, my name is Adam Rivest. I'm a show producer with Universal Creative, and welcome to Islands of Adventure and Skull Island, Reign of Kong. So let's talk about where this fits in the overall timeline of King Kong. So this attraction takes place in 1931, which actually predates the original 1933 King Kong movie. We are the first expedition to make it to the island. We just discovered it. We're joining the Eighth Wonder Expedition Company and helping them explore and discover some of the creatures here on the island. Can you talk a little about the Legendary Pictures movie that's coming out with the same name and how this is different? Yeah, we actually have no tie to that. Uh, we Early on in this process, we consulted with Peter Jackson off the 2005 movie, uh, talked about the look and the feel of Skull Island, and then we wanted to present kind of our own story. So we took Peter's input, some of his design feeling, and then we went our own direction. Can you talk about how you guys created Kong? Kong, Kong is a huge part of Universal's history. You know, we go back, it's one of the first movies, 1933, like I said, uh, and it's a big part of our history. You know, when we opened the theme parks here in Orlando, Kong Frontation was next door at Universal Studios. Uh, that went away mid 90s, late 90s to make way for, early 2000s to make way for The Mummy. And we really wanted to bring Kong back here, you know, home. So it was great to bring this attraction, you know, back to life. How has Kong evolved since that confrontation from a experience standpoint of what riders will get here? Yeah, this is a totally different experience. Confrontation used to take place in New York City. Uh, we wanted you to feel really uncomfortable in this attraction, so we brought you to Skull Island. And from the moment you enter the portal, you are in Kong's world. The creatures, the plant life, everything is Kong, and it's very foreign to what you're used to. The, you mentioned Peter Jackson. Uh, his, his film used all types of uh, performance capture technology to bring Kong to life. How do you guys bring Kong to life for this attraction? You know, and it's not easy because he is a big character. So, you know, as you'll see in the attraction, it takes size to represent Kong correctly. Um, we represent him in a, different, a bunch of different medias, animatronic, uh, media, and it's really important because I think we sell the emotion of Kong. He's more than just a character. He, there's a lot of emotion and personality in him, and through the ride, you get to interact and see his different personalities. This is also uh, the first time you guys are going trackless. Talk a little about that and what that opens up from a design standpoint. Uh, yeah, trackless, first trackless vehicle. While it's a cool technology, we don't like to focus on the technology. We like to use the technology as a tool to tell the story. So we worked really hard to put you on Skull Island and didn't want you to walk in and see a ride track or you know an electrical bar or anything. So we use the trackless, trackless technology just to give you a more immersive environment and not put anything between you and the story. Can you talk about what the actual story is that you're telling here? Yeah, the, so you, you are joining the Eighth Wonder Expedition Company. You come to Skull Island to help them explore and find new creatures. And along the way, you find some creatures that you didn't think you would discover. Uh, when you enter this, all you know is that Kong is a legend from the natives. We don't know that he exists, but we definitely run into him in a big way. Could you talk a little bit uh, about the animatronic side? For what I understand is a huge representation of him, just what it takes to bring something like that to life from an animatronic side? Uh, he is huge, you know, Kong, Kong is a big character, so you have to represent him in a big way, and I think your vehicle that you're in is huge, everything here is huge. So we wanted to present Kong in a way that you were face to face with him, so you're about eight feet away from his teeth as you drive by him. Very impressive. Uh, his face is great. He can portray a bunch of emotions and you really get a personal connection with him when you drive by. Mm -hmm.